OK, so let's say we want to find the 13th term of each of these sequences. In order to do it, I'm going to have to find the nth term. I don't particularly want to have to just go through 13 terms on my calculator. So, number 1, we've got 1.1, 2.2, 4.4, 8.8. .8. So clearly the first term is 1.1. The common ratio we can see is 2. Or you could do 2.2 divided by 1.1, you get 2. So the nth term, un, is the first term times by the common ratio to the power of n minus 1. So the 13th term will be 1.1 times 2 to the 12. 13 take away 1. So 1.1 times 2 to the power of 12 is equal to 4505.6. And that is my 13th term. OK? So that's the process that we need to go through. So number 2, we have 1,000, 500, 250, 1, 2, 5. So the first term is clearly 1,000. The common ratio we're going to be dividing by 2 each time, so timesing by a half. 500 divided by 1,000. So the nth term is 1,000 times by 1 half to the power of n minus 1. So the 13th term is 1,000 times by 1 half to the power of 12. So 1,000 times by 1 half to the power of 12 is 125 over 512. OK? which is equal to 0 0.244140625. OK, full calculator display. But 125 over 512 is the exact value. OK, so that's number two. So then number three, 800, 640, 512, 409.6. Not so obvious as to what the nth term is this, uh, sorry, the... Um, Common ratio is this first time, or this time. So A is, 100, is 800. Um, common ratio, 640 over 800. Take one term and divide it by the previous term. So 640 divided by 800 is 4 fifths. So the nth term is A times R to the n minus 1. So the 13th term is 800 times 4 fifths to the 12. So 800 times by 4 fifths to the 12 is 54.97558139. OK? Now, that's not a particularly uh, nice value. Um, I'm not quite sure whether my calculator would be able to write it in a fractional form. I don't think it wants to. Okay, so that's the best that we can do in that circumstance. So almost 55, effectively. Okay, so that is how we can find um, the 13th term, a particular term, in a geometric sequence.